Okay, um, I have been, uh, there are a few people I've had to chase in the club. John was one, John. the Smiths okay. were another. Um, to get to do this, meet the artist thing, which I thought was a very clever idea. Um, and Susan is another one we had to chase a little bit. She mm -hmm. just pretended she wasn't a good artist, and I'm looking at some of her stuff. Yeah, it's like, yeah right. right. Anyway, she's been a member for a long time, hasn't been to that many meetings, but recently started coming pretty regularly. Yeah. So, do you want all your names used? Susan Bracken Gilday or Susan Gilday Bracken? Well, uh, yeah, I've been, um, I've been uh, Susan Bracken, Susan Samples, Susan Bracken Grass, now I'm Susan Bracken Gilday. Oh, I'm busy. Oh, busy. Oh, busy. Oh, busy. Oh, busy. Oh, busy. Uh, I, I married my uh, guy I knew in high school, I said high school. Yes. From high school or early, okay. you knew when you wanted to be an artist? Uh, that that, that <laughs> is when what? I wanted to paint. Your daddy was an actor, what did he do? Uh, my dad's name was Eddie Brackett. <laughs> yeah. yeah. really? Eddie Brackett, uh, I think. My Eddie mother Brackett. was an actor. Are you serious? I'm yes. serious. Eddie Brackett? Eddie Brackett. Yes. I'm glad you've heard of him. <laughs> oh, Eddie Brackett. I heard of him. Donald O'Connor. He lived in Bayshore. Uh, he lived in Islip. In fact, um, I was California. born in California. We lived in Brentwood. We lived in Beverly Hills. Dad dabbled <laughs> in real estate. But it was too slow for him, so we wanted to play the horses. Ah. So, and he did movies, and then the motion picture industry kind of collapsed around 1953, 1954. My mother didn't like Hollywood. She was hoping Dad would come back east, and she'd always wanted to be the London Lynn Fontaine, the next London Lynn Fontaine of yeah. Broadway. But in the meantime, she had had five kids. She was told she was in an automobile accident, told she couldn't have children. She ended up having five. Wow. I'm second to the bottom. Wow. So uh, my grandmother and my mother and the five kids went east. Uh, we settled in Darien, Connecticut. My dad started doing uh, plays. His career in uh, Hollywood was sort of washed up because he was blacklisted. Uh, for a while, he had opened his mouth about the state of Israel. Most of your agents oh, at that time, mm. producers, you didn't do that. No. You didn't say there shouldn't be a state of Israel back then. And um, he was the most unprejudiced man you'd ever want to meet, and the nicest man, but sometimes he was a hot-headed Irishman and would say things. <laughs> he felt very strongly. He also was a wonderful painter, and I'll kind of go into that. but. Uh, we moved to, we lived in Darien, Connecticut. I had all my friends. I was very happy. And then we moved to Islip, Long Island. <laughs> my sophomore year in high school. Wow. Yeah. And that's when I started to paint because um, we rented a house and somebody had left these old canvases. And Dad was sort of dabbling in painting because he was out of work at the time. He had done a play called Big Bar or Steel lost all his money and was down to beg, borrow, and steal. Not stealing all But he bought up some radio stations and made sure that weren't doing that well. So anyway, it was a very unhappy time in my life. And I started painting, and I decided I wanted to be a painter. And um, the art teacher, I just texted my husband to find out the name of the art teacher, who um, I love, but all he'd talk about was fishing. And he thought I was this wonderful painter. So he would let me leave these huge canvases and I'd paint them. And I did this clown painting. And then I did this painting of an eye of a panther with a reflection of the warrior, you know, going mm -hmm. after him. Warrior, yeah. And to me, when later I looked at cats, it was oh, sort of that really? same thing, except mine wasn't a panther, I think it was a leopard or something like that, but it was the same idea, it was, I, and I thought they ripped me off. <laughs> so I started to do more and more artwork, I, it, it was the one thing, and I, and I still say that, it's one thing that gives me peace, I get very nervous with other things, <laughs> I'm zoned out, I'm very, very happy, and I feel so blessed to be able to paint, as you know, you guys know, it's, it's such a wonderful thing. It's something we have to do. I remember a teacher one time told me that people that paint have to paint. 
and I agree with that. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, uh, my sister, my older sister, was the artist of the family. She, anytime I did anything, my colors were muddy, it was horrible, blah, blah, blah. And when she came around and looked at my work, you know, I'd be devastated because she'd lacerated. And um, she went to Washington University and became a well-known children's book illustrator. She's still wow. illustrating children's books, and she's made a living at it. So uh, I decided I'd be an actress because I couldn't, you know, the artist was already taken, and I wanted to be really be a painter. I didn't think I could make a living at it, so I went into acting. I went to my dad's agent, total nepotism, and um, had a lot of fun. Many years I acted with both my parents, and uh, did dinner theater, did two low budget, very low budget movies, did, um, I did a soap for about a week, the director didn't like me. Um, I almost got Butterflies Are Free I, on Broadway, I had the thir third or fourth callback. I asked the same sister, um, what did she think of the script? I was too nervous to read the script of Mother of the Lives of Free. She said I thought it was trite. I didn't know what that meant. Oh my God. So the fourth callback, I had it. I had it. Move over Blight Danner. She wouldn't have gotten it. I had this part. Can I ask you a question? Is yeah. there a couch in this, in this scenario? No, I, I, should, I should get to the point and get back to the No, no, no. Well, well anyway, I told them you might do this. Yes. No, there's not a couch. That's a couch in that. No, no, no. There are other stories. But it, uh, well, yeah, it's, 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 I, I didn't get it, yeah. so I went into this theater. Any time I could, I paint. Yeah. So wow. then, but I didn't paint because my sister would always show up and always knock it down. So I'm 40 now, and I'm in a marriage, and I'm in Newtown, Connecticut, and I'm back in the woods, and I'm talking about my sister, and she's always criticizing my work, and I, I want to paint. So my husband locked me out of the house. And put all my paints out and said, paint the mailbox. The mirror should last. But I did paint that mailbox. So that was the it was a huge mailbox and it was great. And he bolted it. We we lived way back in the woods. He, he, we had a right of way, bolted it on the thing, and it looked magnificent. And it lasted about a week. Somebody took all the bolts off and took this mail. I can Fortune. This is what I'm going to do for a living. I'm going to paint mailboxes. <laughs> so I didn't know anything really about painting. I get a job at Coney Garden Borium, and I'm going to paint mailboxes. And I tell people, and my first commission job was he owned a plane, and he wanted his plane on a mailbox. It took me about two months. I was so nervous to do this plane. But I did it. It came out. So I started doing mailboxes. And then I started painting on anything I could find. And then I started... Um, doing kind of boxes, and if I somebody was making a bench or something, I I do that, and then I got a job in a, a store where she was painting furniture. I didn't like painting furniture, but I wasn't an artist. I didn't consider myself an artist, but I could. I sold mailboxes. I could do paintings on benches. I wouldn't compete with what you could hang on the wall. They'd be paintings on benches. If they didn't turn out, you could put it in the bathroom and see them. <laughs> so I, she ended up firing me because people would come in and ask for me. So she didn't like that. She thought, you know, just shut up and don't paint. And I told her, well, the only reason I took this job, I actually needed a job, but I told her the only reason I took this job was so I could paint. And then my marriage ends. So luckily, my parents are in New Jersey. They say welcome. My son could go to uh, Glenridge School, and they let me move in, and they let me work part time. And my mother was behind me 100%. And so I was going to make a fortune painting benches. So this, this is one of, the, one of the few examples I have. When I started doing Grandma Moses. Grandma Moses was my mentor. Yeah. So I would do Grandma Moses on benches. And so I, I love ocean. I, I love anything that has to do with ocean. You're not an artist. No, that's not very good. So, it's gorgeous. It's nice. You told them it was fishing. That was, uh, they told me you were out. Now, is that with oil paint? 
Uh, this is acrylic. I got really good with acrylic. And then I was broke. I had no money. And they had the Montclair Yard School of Art. I don't know whether anybody's heard of that. Started taking lessons there. And um, I uh, went into a little gallery called Essex Fine Art Gallery. She's still there. And I brought in my Grandma Moses benches. And she liked it. And one of the reasons I had courage to do that, my sister marries this man, the same sister that was not going to hold us. And he would look at my benches and he'd go, It's brilliant, it's brilliant. And I'd go, Well, let's see, Grandma Moses ripoff. He'd go, No, there's you in it, there's you in it, it's brilliant. And so I really, I really got encouraged by that. And then um, I, Van Gogh, I'm so grateful to Van Gogh, the poor man. I sold more Van Gogh benches than anything, and the, the owner of the gallery, Dad was friends with, uh, and I can't think of his name, uh, Franklin, Franklin, Joe Franklin? Joe Franklin. Joe Franklin wants to interview my dad and ask if Carol would come on, my sister, and show her children's book illustration, and would I come on and show my benches. And I had just done Van Gogh's irises with the purple and the background, and really fit. It would fit around the bench and look really good. So I brought that and a couple of other things. And Joe Franklin came on very late at night. Well, there was somebody that couldn't, some guy couldn't sleep, and he was watching it. And the commercial would be, um, I, hi, my name's Sally, and you call da 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 da. You know how they have those ads? It looks like a call girl thing? And then it flipped back to so. us. That's <laughs> and I'd be walking my class. <laughs> so, anyway, he came into the gallery the next day and bought the bank of things. Man, and then my father was going. You could do Van Gogh, Van Gogh, you could do wooden toilet seats, go Van Gogh, you know, yes, with the bazaar. And then he said, you know, he was always a promoter, he'd go, well, you're, you know, you're doing these pins, we'll line them up, you know, we'll mass produce them. I know the guy on channel, what's his name, you know, when they started to hawk things at night, which they're still doing, it just made me tired. So, no, I what is the studio system? Who, hate, who hated all yeah, your really. stuff? Well, she I was, wanted she I was doing that. just fine. She kind of, kind of smiled. Yeah, yeah. Wasn't original. She said. It's and true. Uh, <laughs> my dad, um, my sister had moved there, uh, lived with my parents. It's this old Victorian house, and she had moved out and married the guy that liked my work. <laughs> so when I moved in, Dad wasn't painting at all because my sister was so. It was her territory. Oh you can't paint. And with my father, I would go, well, look, you know, I'm learning from the masters. Just, just do, uh, just do something and and copy somebody, and do it on a canvas. So he started, and I said, well, Dad, who are you doing? He chose Rembrandt. Oh. <laughs> and I should have brought it because I have it. It was his first painting, and he had done other paintings earlier, but he had forgotten about it. He was one of those naturally gifted, you have the gift, gift, you have just the natural the gifted. Yeah. But Van Gogh, I said, all the other but <laughs> Van Gogh is so I difficult. Mean, you know. So then I went to Isabel O'Neill, a friend of mine. I think it's Isabel O'Neill. Yeah, Isabel O'Neill in Manhattan to teach the art of the paint and finish. It was all these rich women. I wasn't rich. I was trying to make a living, and. Um, but uh, one thing about it, I sort of learned what not to do and what to do, but it was all about furniture painting. So one of the classes was Trompe Loy, and this is, um, this is the old-fashioned finish, and what happens with finish is it turns yellow. And if you've ever been up to Alana and seen St. Frederick churches, uh, paintings in their black, because you use coat after coat, this is what happens. So my dad, would often buy a lottery ticket. So this is all symbolic of my dad. He'd That's sit beautiful. in a chair, he'd take nail scissors and cut the back of his hair. <laughs> so my mom would always yell at him. Then he loved to paint Renoir. Uh, when he really started painting after I got him to, after he did Renoir, he went to Renoir and he loved umbrellas. He, had a, he learned to box as a kid in Astoria because he loved his parasol, and of course all the tough Irish kids yeah. would try to beat him up, so he got very good at boxing. 
so that's uh, my lover. He'd always play, uh, you know, play cards. That's a picture of him. That's his paintbrush because he dabbled painting sitting there. That's his car keys. Yes. And he'd always have wads of hundred dollar bills in his pocket, even when he was well, when he was dirt poor he didn't, but um, and always in that neighborhood you you were rich if you had a pile of money in your it's your done. Thank you. Very yeah. That's such history. That's it. I want to see the other one. And this is um, this is because of my mother. I had a white cat. This is an old painting I sort of did. I got really good. I got really good at at copying. And so and then I do my own thing. I did a um, show in Greenwich where I do big things on wood. One was of a Renoir where they're having a picnic and she's holding up a dog, but I put a cat. And I would, you know, ch kind of change it around. I put my husband, the one I was widowed, yeah. uh, in, in it. Um, this is sort of my mother. This is a takeoff, takeoff of the room, uh, of the living room. She had red walls. She didn't have a great room. Yeah. Big, big ceiling too. Yeah, it was a. That's acrylic. So, this is acrylic. With the. This is acrylic, and this is. I got really good at it, but you can you bend your hair out. On wood. Uh, this is acrylic on wood. Somebody would make the boxes. This is not good. I'm very critical, so I've... No, no, no. They're beautiful. Um, thank you. And this is an, uh, this is Envirotex. This is liquid boron. They yeah. sell it at Home Depot. Okay. Yes, yes. And I got really good at it. And they used to have a spray where you could spray it. Um, you know, the little bubbles come up and it won't pit. Uh, but they don't sell that anymore. And uh, I recently did it. If you don't do it just right, it turns into super glue. And one time I was teaching a class, and I told the woman, I said, it's not dry, I didn't mix it right, don't wear the pen. And it was magnificent. Because even a little simple painting, when you put the Envirotex on it, it, it just looks magnificent. It just looks magnificent. But it super close. I told her not to wear it. Sure enough, she wears it. She drives, she's over at the office, she drops something, and she picks up a piece of the uh, desk. <laughs> and there's no way to get that off. That's super blue. You, know? so you can use teenager and alcohol. So I'm, I'm good at furniture painting. You're good at everything. Uh, and then I got into gilding, gilding gold. My uh, husband that passed on loved this. This is us as kids. And this, I used to be pretty good at gilding. I haven't done it in a while. But, and you can paint on gold. I mean, yeah. Could you pass that on? Sure. Which that, first one you need? Now this is a gold sheet. Um, what is it? This gold? is a gold sheet around the, the edge. This is a gold pen. Um, this is a piece of wood. I got so good at it that I have them at the Isabel O'Neill, Isabel Stewart Gardner Museum wow. gift shop. She asked. She had just. I was wearing one and I happened to be going to a Gillen show in Boston. My problem is something will happen like that. I'm not interested. <laughs> I don't want to do that. I'm going to do something else. A fear so of just when I'm on the verge of, I sabotage myself. Then I got into somebody, I worked for my brother-in-law, and he had these plastic tiles. So I started doing that. You pour Envirotex on them. You can hang them in a window, and they're called sun catchers. And they, sometimes they don't come out. But you can play around in the back, you can, and then have it, and then you hang it on the window where the light comes through. Sometimes something will happen, sometimes it doesn't. Now you paint the picture? You paint the picture. This was done in acrylic. When you paint, sometimes I put uh, gesso on it. But you don't want it too opaque because when you hang it on the window, you want the light to show through. So, um, and sometimes it doesn't turn out. Sometimes it'll be in this little white spot that doesn't make any sense. Sometimes it'll be magnificent. <laughs> yeah. Then I got into Lexan board, and I was doing this is when my mother was alive, and I'm doing the old Greenwich art show. So a friend of mine got me into it. We're on the street, and I had done a gilding thing on a Lexan board with irises on gold. It was magnificent. It shouldn't have been on a street show. It should have been in a gallery. And you put that to the light, the irises, and I, I just go nuts with that. I should have done stained glass, but I don't want to get it to another thing. I'm going to do all that. So um, some woman came by and said, you could do better. 
And I'm thinking, why? Well, I don't want to do that again. Came out just the way I liked it. I don't want to do this again. I don't want to lay go leaf and then um, get barely what I put into it back. And I'm going to tell her when she comes back, I'm going to tell her, I don't want to do this again. If you don't want to buy it now, you know, it's, forget it. So it ended up when she came back, she wanted me to do better on the price. Oh, oh, that's what you meant. <laughs> so here's some more tie tiles. This is the doing Envirotex. Envirotex, you can sand it down so it's a matte finish. Of course, this has been kicking in the, around the house for 20 years. Yeah, well, so so that's a rip off of a painting. Is this Envirotex like um, like a epoxy sealer? It is. It comes in two bottles. If you get it at Michaels, I think they have Michaels AC4. They have Home Depot, but I think it's called something else. I think that's called Poron. Okay. And the art stores, it's usually called Environtex. Okay. Be out in the fresh air, get two glass jars because plastic might melt. You need glass, do it in glass, and you put, and you have to exact measurements, and you have to stir this thing for exactly three minutes, maybe a little longer. Don't listen to any of your students and say, oh, you know, you don't need to stir it that long. You do. Three minutes. And then you pour it on, and what happens, it'll start evaporating, and sometimes it will pit. Like if you look at this, um, it pitted right there, and that's what happens when it pits. And this is the, this is it? not sanded or anything. You can make a fine finish. Um, this is this is a um, this has been sanded and more of a fine finish. Okay, now you say it gets thin. you sand it down for a nice finish, but it's it's now bad. Can you put something like an acrylic coat over to make it? I tried that. That usually peels off. I tried that. You can pour more epoxy oh, on top okay. if you goofed it up, and I've done that too. Sometimes that doesn't work out. I mean, you can drive yourself crazy. You have to be patient, and it's like this gooey, sticky, and you got to have paper or a cardboard box and be able to lift that through, and you don't want to breathe it in. Otherwise, you like more crazy. So, when I got sick of doing that, and I wanted to get more into painting, um, I go to my high school reunion in Islip, and I had hated Islip, even though I loved the water, it was by the water, I had great friends, but in my head, I didn't like Islip. So I almost didn't go to my 40th reunion, I meet my, now my third husband, and he, one of the first things he sent me, I'm living in an apartment now in New Jersey, he sends me a calendar first painting I started to do because my husband had passed on, my parents had passed on, I'm grieving, I can't paint. When he sent me this calendar, I started to paint. So this, uh, that wood scene by the stream is yeah, about exquisite. the third painting I started to do. Yeah, that was an oil painting. That's and the yard school had moved into the Montclair Art Museum. So I looked up my old teacher when I was divorced, and he was still teaching there. And I treated myself to start taking lessons again. But it was sort of painful, because uh, you have to be in a certain place emotionally. Even though it, it's healing, art is healing. Uh, you, have to, you have to be ready there. It's, it's got, kind of getting in touch with your feelings again. Um, That's exquisite. Uh, Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. well, then I actually put in the, uh, when I got here, I put it in the Phoenix Gallery. Oh. The perspective is amazing. Uh, this was about the third painting I did after um, John starts calling me. That's gorgeous. One for your perspective, you know? Thank you. Now, we did have help. I did have a very good art teacher. Beautiful. And then, um, now skip to now, um, this is in, that's an oil, this is in, I, I, I think because I'm not seeing as well, I'm getting, um, uh, this is a, somebody who's asked me to teach up in Rochester, she owns a horse farm, so she wanted a horse painting. So this is water-based oil, and this is, even though he's not perfect, um, 
I, I kind of am going more impressionistic. So this, this year I'm uh, getting away from beach scenes. I, I actually um, sold a lot of beach scenes. This was my favorite, but it, you do have to have a sense of humor with this one. <laughs> and I'm sort of grateful it hadn't sold because some of them I didn't really want to. This um, is acrylic. I wanted to get back in acrylic. This is in uh, Bayer Cunning. I like painting on four, masonite four, just because it reminds me of hunched over. <laughs> painting on a bench. And um, this, when I put my glasses on, so I'm still not, I never finish with anything. So anyway, this is acrylic. Um, I take pictures a lot at Robert Moses. And uh, we had a, a guy when I married John and moved to Isla. Um, nice. I go to Robert Moses a lot, and the guy working on the basement would write these notes. He was dyslexic, and he'd write these scratchy notes. I've gone surfing. Won't be here today. So that got me into surfing. <laughs> it's weird how things will. You know, I love the ocean and the surfing. Yeah. And um, these, I love this because they were all wearing pink. I think I'm into pink this year. Uh, <laughs> I, I know I'm into pink. No. Right. The pink face. <laughs> yeah. I got blushes most in uh, high school. I also got corniest jokes. Um, this winter was so horrible. I had gone to the med and with my husband in uh, with some kind of serious health news for him. And we had gone into Manhattan and we went to the med and they were letting you take pictures. Uh, when I'd gone to Paris four years ago, they'd let us take pictures in the Louvre. I thought that was so great. Yeah. And I thought, man, you know, they're not stopping me taking pictures. So I took a picture of this, and I thought, I'm going to try to do roses that good. And it's a takeoff of a Fantan mm. Latour. Mm. Um, not as good, but um, yeah, it's good enough for me. You know, I love it. It's very dark it's very around beautiful. his, his yeah, flowers. Yeah, I think like um, a lot of them are. This particular one had a gray background, and man, it looks so beautiful. The frame, mm -hmm. it was so beautiful. So I thought, oh man, we're going to try to do that. So that, with this winter, so I had to, started working on that, and then I thought, I got to do roses. It was such a horrible winter. <coughs> so um, this was the next one. This was sort of a takeoff of his, but then I did my own background. I wanted a more warm mm -hmm. uh, background. Wow. And That's then, great. Then I felt confident enough to go. Are those all to that one. Uh, that one is a, a vase that belonged to a friend of my mother's, and that was um, uh, Valentine's Day. Rose collection. Are they oil? This is um, water-based oil. I used to just, I love oil. Used to um, do strictly oil. The problem with oil, I, the people would complain about the smell in the class and I could get on the basement pretty again. And water-based oil is, is pretty great. I recommend it to anybody. Uh, some people don't like it because it has a consistency, but and then people will tell you, well don't use a lot of water. But you do. I mean sometimes don't listen to people. Just do your thing. Everybody has their own everybody has their own thing. Well, I, a lot of times I've gotten so hung up on criticism and so hung up on you just can't waste your life. You got to do what, especially in painting, you got to do what, what you're feeling. And I brought these pink trees. I was doing pink trees last year. I'm still into pink trees. And lately, this, this spring has been so magnificent. You're driving on the road looking at these pink trees. You go nuts. And um, this, I wish this was an original. This uh, is a man, it's an Aspen. Uh, once in a while, people post these things on Facebook. Oh, it's in the middle of winter, and this man, and I should know his name so I can give him credit, but I can't remember it. Um, when I see you again, I'll mention his name. And it's a t his is much more trees. <laughs> Why does? Um, 
But his colors, I fell in love with his colors. His colors. Well, next time you remember his name, write it in the back of your pen. I will, because I'll call it. Um, last year I did. There's a there's a not well known vase of flowers that Van Gogh did, and I did it on acrylic and had it in a clothesline sale and called it Van Gogh's bouquet, as that would be. I don't want to sell that as uh, Fantin Latour's bouquet. Um, so I never, and that would be a big sacrilege to, um, my sister would, wouldn't approve of that. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a, um, these I sold, this um, Matisse. Oh, that's a... Mm -hmm. um, Matisse, I sold a lot of gilded pins. Matisse's or any kind of modern art really lends itself to the plastic. Barbara, we have another Chris with the little tank. I know, <laughs> eight miles in one I don't want anyone square. to tell me I'm crazy. Here's a She's very crazy. bad idea I had about hanging it on She's glass. Uh -huh. um, but it does work a little bit, but it calls it breaks the glass in the back of it. Okay, but That's how did you idea. attach the tie? Blue, blue. It just blue. didn't, it was kind of an invention that didn't quite work. Uh, you didn't try that epoxy stuff that you use? This is epoxy, no, and then it's glue in the back. Sometimes you could take, uh, it's not quite the same, you could do an acrylic painting, like on a piece of tile, right. and put glass on, but it's not quite the same. This And a lot of mine I've turned into, like like one I pass, I turned into coasters. Yes, I know this. And, yeah. <laughs> so they don't turn out, but... Um, but that's, I mean, not the, that's not the Foron stuff. That's that is liquid. That's fantastic. Yeah. That. That's what you want. Yeah. And the glass liquid wouldn't stick. Liquid Foron is a pox. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but this... It wouldn't stick on the tile on the glass with the Foron. Yeah, actually it would. I, I forgot to bring tonight. I did... Um, I was very into mermaids at one point. I was painting mermaids on silk scarves, mermaids this, mermaids that. And um, I did a kind of this mock stained glass. I did it on a piece of um, Lexan board and stuck pieces of glass on it, and made this mermaid thing, painted her, and um, put the liquid pour on on and put two coats of that, and that worked as a glue, too. Mm -hmm. And then that see-through, that's transparent. Yeah. It's really cool. I wish I'd brought it. I meant to. Uh, Sorry. And it was on board, but you could see through it? No, it was oh. on Lexan. Well, Lexan board is... Um, transparent. Yeah, yeah it, oh. it, you, you get it in Home Depot. It's a little more expensive than a plastic like sheet. Plastic. A little bit more. And it comes in different thicknesses. Oh, it wasn't okay. that thick. All right. And you can, you can peel one side, do the painting, so you don't get paint on the back. And then you can peel the other side. But you lay it flat, and you put the liquid pour on it. And then you can do different layers. Right. And a friend of mine took an old oh. antique bed, and she had uh, square holes. And she made, she did kind of a see-through tile, like colored glass she'd find on the beach. She'd put it on a piece of plastic and then stick it in the... Sounds like decoupage almost. Yeah. 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 yeah, it is. It, like, it's almost... Non-soldered stained yeah. glass. Right. Yeah, yeah. Non-soldered, you know, collage. Right. And right. Glass. Wow. Right. Yeah. Very nice. And yeah. that's, yeah. that's about it. I no, just you didn't talk about, oh, about, you didn't tell us about this painting. Uh, this painting, um, my husband, now husband's ex-wife, so I decided for my class. Yeah. And uh, she's, she's a very, she's actually a very good painter. And so um, she was doing landscapes and I wanted, I didn't want to do landscapes because then she'd be bugging me and watching me do the landscapes. I don't want to be bugged. So I walked outside and I noticed I had all these gladiolas. I have a very small backyard, but I had gladiolas up the wazoo. I think they were produced. <laughs> and so I just cut them. I put them in a vase and I took them to class. And actually, it was her that noticed they had this white pedestal at Brookwood Hall and said, why didn't you stick it up on the white pedestal and put it up there? And I just did it. It took um, really two, nice. two classes. And I'm always nicky picking. I'm seeing little things. If I put my glasses on, I'll drive myself crazy. So I don't put my glasses on. <laughs> and uh, but it says what it says, and it just makes me happy. So yeah. 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 And the last but not least, my my um, yes, my niece is graduating, Maris. So can you see? So. Up, up. My niece is graduating. Let's see all these things there.
So, um, so I'm bringing this to her. That's your niece? Where was she? This is my niece. And this is oil. This was about four right. years ago. And whose house is that? Uh, this is in the Pierre Hotel. My parents uh, got married and they had enough money for one night at the Pierre Hotel. So I told my niece that. We, I take her to the Pierre Hotel. I have her sit on the, and they just kind of. It's a romantic story. Yeah. Very lovely. Yeah. 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 Is the painting yeah. behind on the wall yours? No, that, that is something they, yeah, I took a photograph and then I did I the thing from the that. photograph. And it, I was, four years ago, I didn't like it. Oh, God. And, and that happens to me a lot. I have to give myself about a week. <laughs> Sometimes that doesn't work. But um, this, it took four years, and I had found it. I thought, what am I going to give her for graduation? And, you know, should I give her a check, this and that? And I found this. Yeah. And I thought, man, that's not too bad, you know? So, you find it very nice. Yeah. So I'm nicer to myself as I get older. Your life is exhausting. <laughs> I'm telling you, just listen to it, it was amazing. <laughs> so, that is but um, painting makes me happy. I hope yeah. it makes all of you happy. It's very frustrating. Sometimes it's a, an addiction you want to get rid of. It's very labor intensive if you're ever doing a show. Do you, what do you find inspires you? Things in your day to day life or just going out and taking a walk or you know, like do you find different motivations to paint or do you just sit down and start and see painting? Captures or um, I really have to be inspired. Sometimes it's a picture, sometimes it's you know, the guy working on our house said he was surfing. Um, I know my love is water. I love water yeah. and I try to do I've sold a lot of my water paintings I, because I love it so much. So a lot of what I did had something to do with water. Mm -hmm. So I'm really glad I'm in this area because this area is so beautiful. That water you have over there, that way that's on top, I love it. Oh, I think yes. it's, yeah. oh, I, I've seen a lot of paintings here. Yeah. That, yeah. That's one of the favorite I've ever seen yeah. here. Yeah. The surfers have the look that they're waiting yeah. for it to come in yeah. so that they can get on it. Yeah. Capture the, the whole story. Yeah. It really yes. did. Really yes. did. Yeah, and it took me a long time to not copy, because I'm good at copying. I took me a long time to, to, to like taking my pictures, and I must say, had this teacher, Randy Wiesman, do you know her? At Brookwood Hall? She's very good for if you have those issues. Um, she would go, oh, that's me. Fantastic photographs. You should, you should print your photographs. And then, you know, it was like my brother-in-law. And then I started getting more and more confident when I took a picture, because usually I would take a picture because of something I was attracted to or something. So that was pink and water and everything. Yeah. <laughs> it captured the beautiful. Right. Where, where do you think do you think the genes came from your dad? I mean, if your father all of a sudden did a you know Rembrandt, I mean, you just you know, I mean, you had to have. Uh, some amazing artistic talent. To I think one. artists make wonderful actors too. Yeah. I, I think. I, um, I think my mother had a gift. It was just she never developed it. There is your dad. Yeah. yeah, she just she was and she was. Um, she's really the reason I'm painting. She was really behind me all the way. Yeah. Why did you go upstairs and paint? <laughs> 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 Well, I'll fix dinner. You go up and pay. Yeah. And then my aunt moved in. Oh, what the hell? She's already done something. Yeah, I've done enough about paying. And your so sister I, sounds you know, like a real piece of work, too. So I mean, <laughs> yeah, I, I bring my work down, and I have my mother critiquing my father and my aunt. And my aunt would be very negative until she heard every, oh yeah, yeah, that's okay. Oh yeah, yeah, I love that. Oh, you, you can sell that. Oh, yeah. And my mother will go, well, that's very nice. There was one painting she looked at. That's very nice, but there's a lot of orange. Oh yeah, yeah, there's a lot of orange. Get rid of the orange. It's fine. This sounds like the most dysfunctional Irish family I've ever seen. I like to see you on stage. So, what direction do you see yourself going oh in? Oh my gosh. Yeah, what's your future? Uh, mm -hmm. I have no clue. <laughs> I have no clue. That's a good thing. I, sometimes I worry that I have one son, and he's coming back from Japan this week for one week. 
And when I took him to the basement the, the first time, he thought there was so much clutter and there wasn't. We just <laughs> made this great kind of like apartment thing in the basement. Now there's real clutter. And I have a feeling he'll just toss everything out in the street. <laughs> I haven't so I mean, he might not, but he's a minimalist. So, you know, why, why did we do things? Why did you, you do things out of love. So I have no idea. I just had a dear, dear friend um, pass on. It was in their 80s. She was a master painter. In fact, when I, I met her, I, the day I met her, I decided I wouldn't paint anymore. I was divorced. Couldn't make a living at it. Wasn't going to ever pick up a brush again. And she's my roommate at this camp. And she had made a living uh, supporting her three kids on painting. Now she ran a gallery, but she's very prolific in her painting. She has paintings she's left, but she met this man. Um, he was at the Rosalind Art Museum. He was the, uh, what are they called? The curator. 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 If you say his name, I'll know it. But he, she made, you know, she just passed on. He came into her life right at the right time, and he's got all her works numbered, and wow. some yeah. of them are going to the Women's uh, Museum of Art. I don't yeah. see that for me. I just Why just not? leave me alone and let me do what I love to do. You, know? yeah, but you, 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 you work is so exquisite. I mean, those little yeah. title things are. It's so. They, I mean, they call me crazy. They call me yeah. detailed. Yeah. Yeah. You make me look like a. What do you call well, it? Well, I my, I used to. There's some some of these I did. And I would do small paintings. I don't think I could do this anymore with my eyes. I think. What kind of brushes do you use for those? Small, little Paris. small brushes. <laughs> very small. Yeah. And it was really into it. It was very like knitting. That's and um, I should have brought, I have a bunch of unfinished because. You use oh, brushes. Oh, yeah. Right here. Okay. In fact, recently the, the pastel, I don't know whether you remember the, the pink tree in the last show, mm -hmm. I showed it to uh, Christine DeMauro and she, and she said, uh, she loved it, but she said, you know, um, she kind of announced to the class, one good thing and when you need glasses, <laughs> she don't. Oh. You know, she didn't want me to fill in all the little holes, no, no, you know, that passed up and do because the air, she says the air will need well, atmosphere. Right, right. Yeah. right. So, I never quite answer your, I never get to the point, but to sort of answer your question, I never know what's going to inspire me now. Oh, okay. You know, right now it's pink trees and roses. I'm sort of out of roses. Plus, they're not blooming right now. Um, I just did a watercolor lilac. I, I almost brought that's the most recent thing I did on Tuesday. I almost brought that, but it's it's not finished, so I didn't want to. So you're in the pink period now. Thanks. Yeah, I'm sort of going to promote that's it. Icing. You said you have to have a sense of humor. I'm sitting a little far and talking about icing. I'm not sure what the sense of humor is. Um, well, I, I didn't notice it when I was painting it, and I've had a big problem with her, but he's staring at her. Yeah. And that's his wife. That's his wife, and she's tying her around. She's on top of her suit. She's yeah. not even looking at that. She's yeah. looking, she's looking over her right, huh? fantasizing. But so something. That's, that's what a I... typical beach scene, though. Yeah. 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 There's nobody obese in that picture, so we can't be. I have this painting she's, that I almost brought, and it's, um, it's two surfers. They're walking along the beach, and she's heavy set. I, Love that painting, and I took a picture of it, and I had loved that painting. I loved it because of the way she carried herself. I mean, she was really glamorous, but she was heavy set. I mean, a Victorian day, she yeah. would have been a knockout. Yeah. And, um, and he, he was very tall, and the colors, it just was great. I'll bring, yeah. it, bring it to a critique so we get to see it soon. Yeah. 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 Because something's, something's wrong with it, so I'd like to bring it to a critique. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Of your work, because sometimes when people you only see one painting twice a year, yeah. you feel like, well, they're, they're kind of stuck. Yeah. You know, if we would have only seen roses, I would have thought that that's what you do is 
flowers, yeah. but now you do all these other things, and they're wonderful. Do I have seats or not? <laughs> yes, well, that's always the fallback. You, you got to tell us what you're going to change, right? So. <laughs> right. Are you in the mood of thinking? Did you have any painting that here was that was in the show over the weekend? I did. I did a great piece. No, I didn't want to bring those because you've seen them. Plus, I yeah. didn't sell them. But, but we don't really like it. <laughs> uh, we should have brought them. No, you sure. sound like you had that. Like that I, I, don't know. Know. I, feel, I figured you, you'd seen She's that. So and real. I have, She's you so wouldn't real. believe the amount of paintings I have. Yeah. Yeah. I can it's imagine. a sickness. It's a sickness. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I didn't bring any pastel just because they. They're so annoying to. to um, With the glass of Mexico. And plus, Christine is here. Hey! Who's this? Yeah, she's a mess. Uh, um, they tend to knock on the mat, and I, I don't. My pastel and watercolor are not my comfort zones at all. I would have loved to see the watercolor that you did. Well, I'll bring it. Yeah, yeah bring yes. it. please. I'll finish it. It's my last. I'll bring my dance work. I love your dad. Mike wants to sit on the back. You can. I, I sat on And the wonderful thing about acrylic, uh, acrylic on wood, if you have a, uh, you gesso it. But uh, when you use acrylic, and that's just, um, that's not epoxy. Uh, mm -hmm. That stuff that supposedly pour on with 50 coats of varnish. It's really 25. This is just. Um, Varnish. Yeah, yeah. Like water-based water varnish. Right. The wonderful thing is if it gets nicked or anything happens to it, you just add a little more acrylic and do another. Yeah. And yeah. So you really can't destroy them. That's, that's what's so great about yeah. it. Yeah. So, so, yeah. <laughs> that's amazing. Very, 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 very